Hello, Strange Train Instructor here, John Mandula with another screencast. This one, part three of the Soda Can Project. Uh, in this one, we're going to look at the lighting for the uh, for the lighting can. This one's fine. So just the lighting. Uh, we got cut off a little bit the last time. So, again, I don't want to, I do not, not, not want to use a menu to apply this. It's already applied. I just need to edit it. So my appearance panel, which again, you can just go to Window Appearance if you don't have this here. I'm just going to click on this. And I'm going to click preview. So I need to be able to see what I'm doing to my can. Uh, so if I don't see this stuff down here under surface or plastic shade and click more options, that get, gets me this. Now I can, not, two things I can do with lighting. First of all, I can click on individual lights like this one and I can adjust them so I can maybe change the intensity of this highlight. Maybe 100% like that. Um, the ones you probably want to change are highlight intensity, highlight size, and blend steps. Like for example, I'll make my blend steps 50. All right, then let's make a smoother transition. Then I'm gonna, if, uh, I'll, I want to leave ambient light at 50. I don't want to change that. I also don't want to change light intensity. It's already at 100. I can go to new light down here, and I can move this one wherever I want. Okay. Actually, in this case, what I want to do is take it. All right here so I can see the logo nice and brightly. Um, I'm going to take the highlight intensity down a bit. Like this. There we go. And then I'll leave everything else. I'm going to add another one. Maybe there's something over here. Kind of like in the back of the can. Maybe over here, that looks actually pretty good. I'm going to add another new light way up here, around the rim area uh, of the can. And this one, what I want is I want the highlight size to be smaller, but I want the intensity to be higher, so it's almost more like a spotlight. Okay, maybe that's too intense. So let's just say I'm going to go with this right now, and then I'll hit OK, and that'll be good. So uh, the next video we're going to do, this is a short one, the next one we're going to do is copying these uh, from Illustrator, pasting them into the Photoshop template that I sent you, the 3D paste template, so that we can um, set up those both of these cans there and get the look that we want. Stay tuned.